Hello again everyone, welcome back. I'm your host, The How To Knight, and today I want to show you how to make your very own external hard drive. Building your own external hard drive is much more cost effective than buying one. Um, this particular uh, build, we're going to be using a new case. This new case that you're looking at here came from MeritLine.com. It did not come with a hard drive because it's just the case, but it came with the components that are necessary to put one together. came with the screwdriver. They do not always come with a screwdriver. That was kind of nice. I only paid three dollars. came with a nice case uh, sleeve and even came with the screws. So we're all set there. Uh, I am harvesting a used hard drive. In this case we're looking at a Toshiba from a Toshiba laptop, Toshiba satellite laptop. And I chose this one in particular because it's a little faster than the one I took out of my IBM. I, I bought a new uh, faster hard drive from my IBM. And some of you out there probably are not uh, thinking about your old hard drives other than maybe tossing them. Uh, this one's an IDE. Uh, your old IDE hard drives are not useless. Uh, when you upgrade to an SSD solid state drive or if you decide to move to a SATA or buy a whole new system and you have that old laptop laying around it has been collecting dust and you want something small and compact for external storage, this is the best way to go. Uh, it's more reliable than using little uh, SDHC cards or USB flash drives and considering that uh, a USB flash drive can cost you nearly ten dollars this is much cheaper for more space um, your space is going to be limited to the size of your hard drive but this one was 40 gigabytes so we're good to go so let me show you how this is done you simply take your IDE hard drive and your card and very carefully put those together make sure they're nice and snug for those of you that didn't see that okay and we slide that in there. Put your screw in. Oop. The screws are a little small. I have big fat hands, so. <laughs> there it goes again. A magnetic screwdriver is uh, not recommended here. Do not use a magnetic screwdriver as you may cause damage to your hard drive. Also note when you are done you need to format your hard drive. Very important. Where did that other screw go? There it is. And that's it. Your very own external hard drive. For me, it was $3. I had free shipping on that. It's a good deal. It came with a uh, cable. I'm not sure about the two ones on there. Maybe it's for speed. I don't know. Put that in there. And we're done. Now, you don't have to use a two and a half inch hard drive. You can use a three and a half. This is another old used hard drive. IDE as well. 
I've upgraded, as many others have, to your newer types, so I have lots of these laying around. And this one is a, yeah, that's a 40 gigabyte hard drive as well. So, uh, you can get an external hard drive case for uh, three and a half inch, which I just showed you, or two and a half, which is typical for laptops. Uh, <clears throat> that is it. I hope you enjoyed your uh, learning session and uh, look forward to seeing you on uh, any of my new videos. Uh, please subscribe.